Top Cybersecurity Threats Around the Globe Cybersecurity threats, hazards, and difficulties differ significantly from one location to another and from one country to another. The targets vary depending on local assets to be exploited. Cyber thieves and nation-state cyber attackers target specific governments, corporations, and organizations for a variety of reasons. The COVID-19 pandemic, of course, increased cybersecurity vulnerabilities. Attackers may use COVID-19 worries as the material for remote work-enabled or social engineering attacks. The epidemic also disrupted the supply chain and the economy. And for that, today, we are going to discuss the top cybersecurity threats around the globe. But before we start, make sure to smash the like and subscribe button. Let's dive into the dark side of the world. Trying to stay ahead of dangers rather than controlling them later is important to cybersecurity. Similarly, Africa is one of those countries that faced cybersecurity threats. Several African nations, including Kenya and Tanzania, had developed mobile virtual currency networks with millions of customers, such as M-Pesa and MFS Africa. In certain governments, particularly in Kenya, individuals utilize them for wages, food, and travel. Gangs target these systems in the hopes of stealing payment from the customer. While most worldwide vulnerability evaluations are concerned with data security, these mobile virtual currency systems are concerned with money security. The metropolitan coastal regions of Africa are equally vulnerable to cyber attacks on ports. An example of the event in South Africa where one terminal was closed due to a sizable cyber assault. International and regional conflicts in East Africa and others have resulted in cyber-spying cybersecurity risks, most notably employing the Pegasus malware. By the end of 2020, almost 11 African national governments had discovered Pegasus spyware. They assumed it was part of intelligence from both inside and outside the region. But little do we know that America, too, is struggling with cybersecurity threats. Latin America is hit by a double punch of widespread internet use and high rates of cybercrime, as well as a lack of collaboration between governments and industry. Also, there is a lack of public knowledge regarding cybercrime due to a lack of government awareness initiatives. The news is dominated by cybersecurity problems related to the epidemic, which has brought wave after wave of frauds, ransomware assaults, and phishing attempts involving data breaches. Most of these make use of social engineering content connected to COVID. Fear-mongering COVID-related phishing attacks are one crucial strain, and these are designed to gather the information that fraudsters will need to conduct insurance and identity fraud. Emails offer inadequate money, vaccination access, and other perks in return for personal information or malware downloads. Latin America's most actively targeted countries have the most outstanding economies, including Brazil, Mexico, Colombia, and Argentina. The United States is being targeted for a wide range of cybersecurity threats, including large-scale state-sponsored assaults such as the SolarWinds attack. All those are long-term and complicated investments. Attackers might have a variety of objectives, ranging from political and socioeconomic spying to influence activities. Besides America and Africa, we have Asian countries too that play a vital role in this case because there comes China. The region's international tensions fuel state-sponsored propaganda campaigns, computer espionage, and targeted economic crime. Phishing attacks continue to be a frequent network parameter for many cyber attacks throughout Asia. Conflicts between nations fuel a high rate of cyber concerns from both nation-state and non-governmental entities in all participating countries. Consider China-India, China-Taiwan, India-Pakistan, North Korea-South Korea, and obviously conflicts between the United States and China, North Korea, and Russia. Furthermore, much of the country's digital infrastructure and services are located in Asia. As a result, the worldwide trend of supply chain assault and instability throughout the region is significant. Electronics exporters, such as Vietnam and Malaysia, rely on Chinese purchasers and producers and vice versa. Furthermore, the globe depends on Chinese-made commodities. 
Any disruption in this supply chain slows delivery, boosts prices, and puts pressure on everyone involved. Many of these links involve governmental collaboration and partnership, as well as personal conflict. Conflicts are expressed through cyber attacks and spying. North Korea warrants special notice since it has a well-developed state-sponsored cyber attack infrastructure. With that said, due to a lack of development and internet access, the country has essentially no targets for foreign opponents to attack. In contrast to all these continents, we have Turkey on the list too. Turkey and Russia have borders with both Europe and Asia. Many worldwide cybersecurity threats, both state-sponsored and illicit, originate in Russia. As per a Microsoft analysis, roughly 60% of the world's detected state-sponsored assaults began with the Russian government in the previous year, and one-third of the world's most significant successful cyber attacks by non-state actors started there as well. The latest wave of ransomware-as-a-service assaults is primarily a Russian phenomenon. Russia is also the starting point for a significant number of data activities and presidential campaign misinformation activities. Comment down below if you are aware of it. Next are the European countries, which encountered some of the worst scenarios in the COVID-19 pandemic. Dangerous ransomware attacks have had a significant impact on European hospitals in Ireland, France, and others. The two French hospitals were assaulted within a week of one another after hospital attacks in seven French cities in 2020 by terrorists deploying the cryptovirus Ryuk, which increased the stress factor. After all, both were fighting COVID-19 at full strength. The assault on Ireland earlier this year targeted the health service executive, causing widespread disruption and forcing healthcare staff to rely on paper data. According to the European Union Agency for Cybersecurity, the number of significant cyber attacks nearly quadrupled between 2020 and 2021. Crimes with triple extortion ransomware are now on the upswing. In that area, the cost of data breaches is skyrocketing. Another one drawing in cybersecurity threats is the Middle East. The Middle East area faces a plethora of state-sponsored cybersecurity risks. These are intended to upset competitors, inflict financial pain, and, in some instances, even trigger internal political disputes. A recent strike in Iran caused significant interruptions in consumer gasoline sales. In apparent retaliation, Individuals broke down fuel signs condemning the authorities for the long lineups. Any vulnerability study in the Middle East must consider regional conflict. Many types and techniques of cyber attacks are similar throughout the world, with malware and ransomware leading the list. At around the same time, the attacker's objectives differ significantly. But do you know what that one thing that appears to be expected in all these attackers is? They seem to be all over the globe. Can we catch them? Can we stop them? Or can we even locate them? I guess this still remains a mystery. The danger and severity of cyber attacks have certainly increased in recent years. Indeed, since 2018, humanity has experienced the most terrible cybercrime incidents, including enormous data breaches, weaknesses in microchips, crypto jacking, and a variety of other issues. It suffices to say that as technology advances and digital media becomes more widely used, attackers become more intelligent day by day. Furthermore, these fraudsters prey on individuals and businesses who are less concerned about cybersecurity. To acquire access to sensitive information, they target everything from a freshly founded blog to a well-established online company. Cyber criminals are always seeking new exploits and developing innovative tactics to defraud and harm institutions and organizations in this age of digital change and globalization. In consideration of this, organizations should be aware of the ever-increasing number of flaws and the cybersecurity dangers that are on the horizon. With that said, we reach the end of the video. We hope each one of you stays safe from such a curse. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button. Please share your feedback with us in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell icon to get notified every time we upload a new video. Thanks for watching.